Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's cloudy with a chance of hops. Cloudy with a Chance of Hops is a 9% New England style double IPA from Grand Armory Brewing in Grand Haven, Michigan. I went on a beer trip in 2015 to the west side of the state. While I was out there, my buddy Dave and I decided to make Grand Armory one of the stops. I hadn't heard them at the time, but you know me, I am game for anything. Let me say, if you're looking for some good barbecue and some pretty good beer, check out Grand Armory's Tap Room. I still haven't seen their beers pop up in Southeast Michigan, but thankfully I have some family on the west side of the state and I saw this New England double IPA on the shelf. I knew I just had to pick it up. You know, New England style IPAs are kind of what this channel does a lot of. Uh, so, you know, I couldn't just let it sit there all alone. I had to pick it up and take it home. So let's take a look at this can. We'll get into the beer. We'll talk about it a little bit. So it, I'm gonna gather that it's a play on Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I mean, you know, I'm no genius, but I can pick that one up. So it has a, uh, the, just talk about the design real quick on the top. It says Grand Armory Brewing, uh, right to bear craft. It has a cloud with some hops raining down on some dude. He's holding an umbrella and he is holding out his cup to get some beer. So it says on the back here, whatever the weather served, that was what they drank. Today it rained juice and hops, Amarillo, Centennial, and Citra, to name a few. And, uh, you know, kind of reading that, I'm a little surprised that Mosaic isn't in the conversation on this of the hops in this beer, but uh, Amarillo, Centennial, and Citra ain't too bad on their own. So I'm going to grab a regular old pint glass, and I am going to crack this one open. And I'm really excited about this because I've had this for a couple weeks, and... Uh, I've been really, I've been really uh, excited to try it, but I like to try everything on the channel before I try it on my own, just so I can, you, I can bring you guys honest reactions. Um, so now I'm finally reviewing it, and I'm gonna give it a shot. Woo! Right out of the gate, I'm smelling strong piney hoppiness, and that's a lot of what I'm picking up—a real faint kind of citrus scent to it. Let's pour it. A really nice golden kind of straw yellow color. And not a whole lot of head. Oh, it's kind of forming up now as it as it goes along. And it's a real nice white head condense. Uh, it is pretty hazy. I can see the shadow of my hand against my lights, but that's all I'm getting out of this. Let's give it a smell. Getting a citrus out of there. I'm gonna say it's more of a kind of an orange. There's not much of a dank smell to it. Again, I think that uh, I kind of equate that more to mosaic. The mosaic hop is the one I think gives it more of that dank smell, at least what I consider to be dank. But it smells really good. Let's give it a shot. So it's got a nice kind of puffy, cloudy, not puff, not cloudy, puffy kind of pillowy mouthfeel. It is a little bit on the thicker side. So at first taste, really quickly I get like the sweetness, the citrus kind of juicy, juiciness for lack of a better term, out of it. But then really quickly after that juiciness, I get kind of a tangy, I get kind of a tangy citrus and then the bitterness kind of hits it and the bitterness just rolls, rolls on my tongue for a little bit. It's kind of got that bitter bite at the back end, but then it subsides really nicely, kind of balances out. There are a lot of contenders for really good New England style IPAs. This is a really good New England style double IPA. And 9% I, 
again, I, I've been doing a lot of these kind of high ABV beers lately, 9%, 9.5%. This one, I mean, and, and they all have been hiding it really well. Maybe maybe my tolerance has gotten a lot better, but uh, I'm not tasting a lot of the ABV. I'm not tasting a lot of the alcohol in this. And that's, you know, that's there's some people like that and some people don't. I'm middle of the road. I can go either way. You know, some beers it kind of suits and some it doesn't. This one kind of reminds me a little bit of Odd Side's Dank Frank Juice, but the difference between this and Dank Frank Juice is this one I'm not picking up that boozy kind of quality, and Dank Frank Juice I really picked up a lot of the booziness, and I think that was on purpose. I think they kind of made it like that uh, to kind of fit the character that they were brewing it after, but this one is really smooth. It's really nice and sweet. You get that nice sweetness at the beginning, You get that really quick bitterness and then it kind of subsides and you get that, you get kind of a citrusy aftertaste to it. If I take a really slow kind of pull off of this, the bitterness is more pronounced. If I take a quick drink, it all kind of melds together. It mixes, you get the you get the sweetness and it kind of balances out with the bitterness. So, you know, if you were to drink it quickly, obviously, uh, without giving a lot of time for the for the beer to run over those different kind of zones on your tongue that pick up the different flavors, it's going to go down really smooth. You're not going to pick up on a lot of the bitterness. It's going to be all kind of melded together in a nice kind of synergy. But again, those slow kind of drags It lets you kind of pick those apart. This is, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this one ranks pretty highly up there for me for double New England style IPAs. I haven't had a whole lot of them. I mean, I think the top of the mountain is still Boss Tweed from Old Nation, but this comes in really close. Uh, you know, I can think just off the top of my head, we have Flavorful 5, which is really good, but has kind of that boozier kind of quality. That would rank in probably underneath this because I'm more of kind of the hiding the boozy taste, but I, Flavorful Five, don't get me wrong, I think is great. Dank Frank would come in kind of underneath that. I know some of them are Imperials, they're not really the same kind of style, but but I'm kind of considering them on an ABV level rather than, oh, this one's a double, this one's an Imperial, you know, it's all kind of semantics at some point, but Cloudy with a Chance of Hops hits a spot. All right, friends, that is Cloudy with a Chance of Hops from Grand Armory Brewing. What are some smaller breweries near you that you're digging on? And do you think that New England style IPAs are here to stay or are they going the way of the dodo? Let me know in the, what you think in the comments down below. And while you're down there commenting, why not like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already? I'm here twice a week talking about Michigan beer. You can come and join me at any time. So go ahead and subscribe. You can also find links to my social media. And if you're one of those smaller breweries I was talking about earlier, Hit me up. I'd love to hear more about what you've got going on. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.